often should you fertilise your lawn? Well, feed it when it needs it. But as a rule of thumb, I fertilise twice a year. One in early spring, as the ground warms up and growth is increased, and again in early autumn, to help your lawn recover from the summer and grow into the cold. Is it worth paying more for premium quality potting mix? Well, I certainly think so, because on the bags, you'll find the Australian standards five ticks. It indicates that it's good premium quality because it's got good aeration, the potting mix is well drained, it still has water holding capacity, and it's got fertiliser that will last at least one to three months. The old adage, you get what you pay for. I've been asked if you need to water your garden in winter. Well, if you're in the northern part of the country, where it's the dry season, of course you do. But in southern parts of the country, where it's cooler and rain's more likely, it's less of an issue, particularly in open areas that are likely to get rain. If there hasn't been rain for a while, some of your tender plants, including veggies, may need a drink, so keep an eye on them. But keep even a closer eye on things like pots and plants that are in the rain shadow of walls and eaves and around the house, where they can dry out. So they may need a spot water, just with a handheld hose. And a good idea is to watch them closely for any signs of moisture stress, and better still, check the soil for dryness regularly. And that way, you'll know when they do need a drink. Should I give my citrus lime or dolomite? Now, this is an interesting question, because lime and dolomite provide calcium, and all plants, including citrus, need some calcium in order to remain healthy and vital. But most people would know that when you add lime or dolomite to the soil, it converts it from being acid to alkaline. It sweetens the soil. And citrus prefer an acidic soil. So what do you do? Well, I use shell grit. And I buy this shell grit from a produce store. And normally this is given to poultry so that when they lay eggs, they've got strong shells. Now this breaks down very, very slowly in the soil and over a number of years, it will provide all the calcium citrus need, but without changing the pH of the soil. So shell grit and citrus, well, it's a win-win. Do you need to use citrus food on your lemon tree? Well, the most important thing is that citrus need a balanced fertiliser. I like to use an organic-based fertiliser, which is based on chicken manure. And that way you know that all the nutrients the plant needs are covered. And then apply it a little bit and often during its growing season. A lot of people ask, do they need to fertilise their garden in winter? Well, as always, you're best to take the cues from the plants. If they're dormant, as many are, then you're better off to be feeding the soil, apply a bit of compost. But if they are in active growth, things like your spring bulbs and some of your leafy vegetables, then it's well worth your while giving them a regular liquid feed every couple of weeks so they can be at their best. Is it true that if you mix lime and manure together in soil, there will be a chemical reaction? The answer is yes. The nitrogen in the manure will form ammonia gas and that will burn the feeding roots of plants as well as young leaves. Seedlings can be killed. So what do you do? Well, you work them into the soil separately, leaving a month between each one. And then that way, each will work its own magic and there'll be no negative consequences. If you're after an attractive, productive vine to cover a trellis, then have a look at this Nelly Kelly passion fruit. It's beautiful. But I got asked recently whether or not a person should put a liver in the hole before they plant their passion fruit. Well, back in the old days, they used to put animal livers, things like ox, cows or sheep, into the hole to add iron to the soil because these plants are very hungry. But these days we have chelated iron available to us. But my advice would be, with anything like this is to prepare your soil well using good amounts of organic matter, like compost, rather than specific body parts. What does it mean if manure is aged? Well, it means that it's safe to use in your garden. The problem with using fresh manure on your garden is that it can burn things because of its high urea content. Now, the time it takes to age manure depends a bit on the type of manure, but with something like the chook manure out of my chook house, I tend to let it go three to six months before I'll use it on the garden. One question which I'm never asked, but I think is important to answer, is when do you apply lime to soil? Lime sweetens soil and it adds calcium, which keeps plants healthy. 
Here in the subtropics, we get a distinct wet summer season. Calcium in lime is really water soluble, so it can be stripped from the soil. I apply it in autumn, and that means I've got almost a year for it to work its magic. Now, if you live in a part of the country where you have winter rainfall, spring is the better time to apply it, and that way you'll get a lasting effect.